We're now going to look at the advantages and disadvantages of centralized and distributed databases. And basically, we need to understand that the difference is in a centralized database, we have one database file, and in a distributed database, we have multiple database files, and each with, uh, bring with them their own perks and their own advantages. So basically, with the centralized database, there is one single database and is located at one side on the network. And in a distributed database, there are two or more database files located on the network, maybe in different departments and different sections, and they need to be synced at the end of the day. So if we look at that graphically, all the nodes are accessing one centralized database in a centralized database structure, whereas in a distributed database, each node in every different department are accessing their own version of the database, okay, and updating it and manipulating its data as the day progresses. The advantages of a centralized database is since there is only one database file, you always are getting a complete view of the system. You're seeing as it's being updated, you're seeing the changes that are being made. When you update and change it, everyone has access to that, okay? The advantages of a distributed database is because there are multiple database files, you won't interfere with each other if someone's accessing a specific record because you're working on a different copy. Okay, there might be faster if you're on a larger network because the actual file might be saved in a location that is more localized to where your workspace is. Okay, and also if one site fails, the complete system won't go down because you've still got other database files to work from. Maybe not your specific department, but still there is existing files that can be used okay, by the company. The disadvantages of a centralized database is that it can lead to bottlenecking with many people accessing the one file. It could slow down the bandwidth. It can slow down just the, um, the function of the actual program because everyone's trying to access data. You might have to wait till someone's finished using their actual database so you can fill in your entry. So it can slow down productivity. The disadvantages of a distributed database is that you've got to synchronize and synchronizing takes time. Okay, because all the databases have to be synchronized in the day so that they all have matching data at the end of the day. The other issue can be data needs to be replicated. So you need more than one file, so that means more file sizes are being used up. It could also mean people entering the same data okay, in the same day because they're not knowing that it's being put in on different sites. Okay, so I hope you understand a bit more clearly now the difference between centralized and distributed databases.